Hi there, it's Mark from Lightmap. I'm going to show you how to use HDR Light Studio with VRED and in this demo we're using VRED 2020.1 which now supports area lights in HDR Light Studio. Okay, so we've got our scene loaded and let's go to our materials and we've got this outdoor environment and the geometry is set to dome and let's just change that to sphere uh, when we use uh, HDR Light Studio. So we'll change that setting. And we'll open up the HDR Light Studio section here uh, on the environment properties. And to start HDR Light Studio, we press the Edit and Load Settings button. OK, and the first thing you'll notice is that the environment inside of VRED is now using the image that is coming from the HDR Light Studio interface. And if we go to the properties here, we can see that the environment is now using the HDR Light Studio live environment. This means that any change we make in HDR Light Studio will be updated in real time inside of VRED and the lighting will change. So in HDR Light Studio, I'm just going to make a light, change the brightness using the brightness slider, and we can move this light anywhere on the HDRI map. And as we move the light, you can see that VRED is updating. OK, so rather than guess where to put the light to get the effect you want, if we go back to VRED, and in the HDR Light Studio section, enable light paint. We will use the mode reflection painting. This will position the lights to reflect where I click on the 3D model. So now if I press shift and left click on the model, the light will move in HDR Light Studio on the HDRI map to reflect in the model where I have clicked. So if I press shift and click, this means we can now position lights to create the lighting effect we want directly on the model in VRED. If I were to duplicate this light and shift click, this second light will move to the light paint location. So whichever light is selected and active in HDR Light Studio, it will be that light that is moved when you use light paint in the VRED viewport. OK, something that you'll want to do is to edit an existing HDRI map using HDR Light Studio and VRED. Let's just edit and delete all lights. I'm going to create a picture background light, which is the type used to load a HDRI map. And I'm going to select my HDRI map from the desktop, Dusk Square. When you open a large HDR, you'll be prompted to convert this into a .tx file. This is an efficient file format for HDR Lite Studio to use, and it means that we can load huge files in seconds. So I'm going to convert this and save this. Previously, this HDRI map was loaded in VRED, and when we loaded it into HDR Lite Studio, the position doesn't match. For it to match, go to the longitude slider and set the rotation to zero. This now matches the orientation of the HDRI map when it was originally loaded in VRED. So now I've loaded this HDR, I can use the tools in HDR Light Studio to edit the HDRI map. So I can change the saturation of this and I can change the gamma of this HDRI map to change its effect. I can then use light sources to take control of this HDR in certain areas. So I've placed a soft round light here and I'll change the blend mode to amplify and this will let this light be a booster for the light coming from that area on the map. 
So if I press shift and click on the model, that light will now boost the brightness in the area where I have selected. I could change the colour also and it will be like a light shining in that area of the HDR. You can use HDR Light Studio not just to brighten areas of the map, but you can darken as well. For example, if we got one of these soft boxes and dragged and dropped that on here and gave it a brightness of zero, that will make it black. And I can shift click to position a dark area on the map. So making edits to the HDRI map can make a big difference to what your shot looks like in VRED. So new in VRED 2020.1 is support for area lights in HDR Light Studio. It's easy to make an area light. It's a normal HDR Light Studio light that appears on the map. So let's position this over the car here. Now in the light properties panel, we're going to enable area light. The light is now removed from the HDRI map in red and has been made as a physical 3D area light. I can still control its position pressing shift and clicking on the model. Because we have the light painting mode reflection selected, the light will be moved to reflect and face the light paint position. If we open the materials panel and I change the drop down to illumination painting and I click on the model, the light is moved to face the light paint position, thereby illuminating it. If the light comes between the camera and the object, you can use the camera visibility setting and turn that off. The effect of the light in terms of its reflections and its illumination can still be seen on your 3D model, but the actual area light itself will not be seen. As you've seen, controlling the position of the light uh, you use light paint, but we need to control also how far away the light is from the model. To do this, we use the Smart Dolly slider. As we slide the slider, the light moves closer to the model. With the default settings of a units of millimeters in red and the default settings in HDR Light Studio, a setting of 1000 in HDR Light Studio will place a light one meter away. That is the highest value that is on the slider, but if you want to place the light further away, this is easy, we can just type this in here. So 2500 will place the light two and a half meters away. And then we can easily use the slider to bring it closer again. You'll notice when using the smart dolly slider, as the light gets further away, it gets bigger. This is because physically correct lighting, when it gets closer, it would get brighter. To compensate for this, we reduce the size of the light automatically. So however close or far away the light is, the object that is being lit will be the same brightness. The smart dolly is your primary distance control for area lights. The dolly multiplier allows you to make adjustments to the already positioned light. The value of the smart dolly multiplier is multiplied by the distance from smart dolly. 
this means that this provides a fine level of adjustment to the existing position. Importantly, this will not change the size of the light like Smart Dolly. It will simply adjust the distance. The default value for this is one. When using area lights, it can be very useful to use the advanced rotation settings in HDR Light Studio. If we enable them, we can choose settings like fixed. This will mean that wherever the light is positioned, the light will align with the horizontal plane and with the X axis. This is great if you want to place a light, say over the top of a vehicle. Also, you can use the rotation mode vertical lock. This will mean that wherever this light is placed around the model, it will be vertical. And there is also a horizontal lock. So wherever that light is placed, it will be horizontal. But it will rotate to face the light paint position being clicked. If you decide that you don't want an area light and instead you want the light to return to your HDRI map, uncheck area light in HDR Light Studio. The light will return to the HDRI map and will be removed as a 3D light in red. Or we can return it to being an area light and it will remember its settings. Let's just look at the settings for area lights inside of red. We'll go to scene, light editor. And in here, we can see the area lights that are associated with this environment. If I expand them, we can see the medium softbox light made with HDR Light Studio. If I was to change the name in HDR Light Studio, This will also be updated in red. The texture and appearance of the area light in red is coming from HDR Light Studio. So changes made to the appearance, like the color, the texture that is being shared with red will update and this will change. HDR Light Studio also controls the position and the size and the orientation of this light. If you were to override this in red and change the position, next time HDR Light Studio is started, it would reposition the light with the HDR Light Studio settings. There are other settings in red that you can change that are not controlled by HDR Light Studio. These will not be overwritten when HDR Light Studio next opens. Things like the cone angle for the light, the penumbra angle, these are not set by HDR Light Studio. Area lights can create harsh and unrealistic shadows on the shadow catcher material. To get rid of this, you can turn down the ground shadow intensity to zero on area lights made with HDR Light Studio if you are using a ground shadow. If you're happy with your lighting that has been created with HDR Light Studio, we now need to complete the process by creating high quality final images for VRED. At the moment, HDR Light Studio is sharing low res, lower quality images to keep things nice and fast. To complete the process, let's press the HDR button for the production render settings. We'll pick the resolution of the HDRI map that we want to make. The format will be an EXR file. The resolution of the area lights, we will set to 1500 pixels. Now we need to select a name. So I will call this demo. Now we can render the high quality HDR content, which will be the main HDRI map and the area light content. Okay. So if I now come back to my materials, I can see that the environment is now using the file that we just rendered on disk. Before 
closing HDR Lite Studio will want to save the HDR Lite Studio project inside of RED. To do this, press the Save Settings button. This will mean that the current state of the lighting design in HDR Lite Studio is stored in the RED scene. Next time we start HDR Lite Studio from this environment, the stored project will now be loaded. We can now quit the connection to HDR Lite Studio. We have already saved the project, but we're just prompted if we would like to save it. I'll say yes again, and it will be stored before closing HDR Lite Studio and the connection to it. So now we have a red scene that contains a custom HDRI map that is a file on disk. And there are area lights that have been created that also point to files on disk, which are the higher resolution, high quality area light images. And the scene is lit by using HDR Light Studio. So that's an overview of the functionality of using HDR Light Studio with Red and using the new Area Lights feature.